Hi, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently. I've been going through major life changes, and when that happens, it causes you to sort of reevaluate things, right? I mean, at least it does for me. And so recently, I've been thinking about what is it that truly makes me happy? I know I make happy lists and gratitude lists pretty much every week in my journal, but what I need to focus on, I think, is rather than things that make me happy short term, like, yeah, scrolling TikTok or eating cake or like binge watching shows. I mean, those things do make me happy, but that's on a superficial level. And what I'm trying to do is drill down to the basics of what truly makes me happy in the long term rather than just the short term. So I decided to make a page in my Big Happy Planner and I'm going to talk about it and just put down the things that I think are most important for my long-term happiness. Um, so this is a piece of Happy Planner filler paper. The other side looks like this. I'm not using this side. I will paste it to something else in my planner so that you'll only see this side. I wanted to use this because it has graph paper and sometimes that's easier to see like where to put stuff and what's going on. I have the I Love Stickers Happy Planner sticker book because, oh my gosh, I love this. I love stickers and I love this sticker book. This is in the new sticker folio that just came out. And this is so much my vibe, you have no idea. Like, okay, I could put iced coffee makes me happy and it does, <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about here. The first thing I thought I would do at the top of the page is take some of these because these are bright and cheerful and happy, right? Um, and I'm just gonna put them across and we'll just sort of, I guess, write happy list or something. We'll, we'll think of a title. I thought it'd be fun to put this at the top and then maybe put some of those, like a party mushroom up there. Yeah, there's party mushrooms in this book. Can you believe it? I know, so weird and yet so cute, right? We're just gonna layer a couple of fun um, party-ish stickers up here and have a good time with it. And that's all you need to do in your planner. Sometimes what's most, Im whoa, that's not good. What's most important is what you write in your planner. So how you decorate it. I know I, I seem to, you know, emphasize the importance of how you decorate it a lot of the time, but as long as how you're decorating it is making you happy and you know, you, what am I trying to say? I didn't know. Um, <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, it's most important what you write in it. And if you can decorate it in a way that you like enough, you know, and um, use it to your um, advantage as far as, never mind. I cannot express what I'm trying to say today. But, all right, we're just gonna keep going. Sometimes that's what you get here on my channel. And you know what? I don't wanna hear any complaints. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, you guys, I'm kidding, please. Do not ever take me seriously because I don't even take myself seriously most of the time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more here and a little star with it up here. Maybe another star right in that corner, right, for fun. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Orange, okay. Should I write my happy list or I want it to be more, we're going to wait on that because I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I want it to be more like meaningful than just my happy list. So let me think on that. Okay. But let me grab a mushroom because there's party mushrooms in here. And when else can you use a party mushroom except on a happy list? I don't know. I guess you can use them whenever, but oh, I really like these two. See these, I mean, they're so cute. Let's use this one throwing the gold confetti. We'll put it up here. So cute, right? Maybe I'll put an avocado. I know, are you sick of me talking about avocados after you saw the avocado spread video? Did you see that one? Um, maybe you're sick of them, but I'm not. Let's see, I have more of them. Yeah, like, okay, we're gonna use another one. I don't care what you say. I should have used it over here though. Let's see if we can pull this one up because I wanna balance the green on the other side, you know? Uh oh. Uh-oh, it's okay. We're gonna cover it with an avocado if it rips, so we're good. We're good. Oh, it didn't rip though, so this guy's gonna go here. I'm not naming them. 
uh, blue. I feel like this should not be blue now. I know. I'm already like being too detailed about my happy list when I just said it doesn't matter how you decorate it. Yeah, let's use the pink. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead of using box stickers or anything like that is I'm just going to take these pens that I picked out that are in the colors that sort of match these stickers a little bit. And I'm going to just draw some boxes, very basic, very quick boxes to write in what makes me happy. So I'm going to grab, let's do this blue pen. This is more of a periwinkle. It doesn't quite match um, this, but it's a little purpley, so I think it might work. And I'm just going to do messy boxes. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do them. And I'm going to do them all over the place, so I'm not going to give it much thought, okay? Sometimes when you're drawing boxes or something like that on your page, you just have to do it quickly and you're going to be upset about it. You're going to be like, that looks horrible, but keep going, you know, and then maybe it won't look horrible or maybe it will and you'll just live with it. So I'm just doing, <laughs> just doing this like quick. Okay. That's one. You see what I'm saying? And we'll fix them up with like, we'll make them a little fancy. I think with some other stuff, I don't really have any ideas per se about how I'm handling this but we're gonna we're just gonna make it pretty at the end I know we are I know I can do it so this one is just gonna be like right here again we're gonna doctor them up a little bit in a minute let's do a green what should I do for that should I do more than just these two kinds I don't know uh, we might but I'm gonna make this one longer in case I have a long word you know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. That looks like tic-tac-toe a little bit. We're going to keep going. And we only have four colors. We have nine things, but I might not have room for all nine. Let's do a blue one here. I don't know what kind of word is going to be like that, but we'll make it work. Or we can write sideways. The key is just don't be too perfectionistic about it. Just go with the flow, okay? Like it's not rocket science. It's not life or death. We are okay. We are just gonna make it work, okay? I should have done this one that kind, but I didn't. So we're gonna do it here. And I know it's yellow again, the same kind, but we're gonna live with that because we might change it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need a pink right here, I think. Ah, I rhymed. Okay, eight. Um, this is not gonna be even, so we'll put stickers around it. Yeah. We'll do squiggly crooked one there. All right. So far, so good. I know it looks wacky, but that's the point. Before we doctor these boxes up, let's put some fun stickers around because that's what I like to do, and it's gonna make me motivated to get really fun with it. I guess. All right. Ooh, like this. So much yes. And this is good because there's a lack of green over here, you know what I mean? So, so much yes. Right? Maybe we balance that with like this little smiley face, right? I feel like that's good. Um <laughs> here. Okay. And then some pictures, like a roller skate or something. Hmm. Ooh, how about this? A rainbow. Sure. There's not much room for it, though, I will say. Let's put it right here. I can cut off the edge. How about some sunglasses? I don't know. I just want it to be, like, fun, you know? Sort of whimsical and cute and, like... I do want a roller skate. Where are those? I sort of want to put it here, actually. Well... Yeah, let's move this. So I do think it's really important sometimes to think about your life and think about not only the changes you can make for the better, but also like what really feeds your soul, what makes you feel good over time and not just the quick fix, which we all have things we can name for a quick fix, right? But that's not what's important. What's important is the long haul happiness. 
because that's going to be what goes down like deep and that is going to lead to a better life overall. But it's hard. I can't say it's easy like it's not easy because we all want the quick fix, right? I would, I do too, you guys. I do too. I want to scroll on social media just like you. Um, I want to like, I'm going to use a crocodile punch to punch this out here. I want to just do mindless things that don't require any effort because I'm tired, you know, or I've got just, I'm, if you're going through something, if you're sad or whatever, like sometimes it's just hard to do anything else besides mindless things. And it's okay to do too. I'm not saying don't do mindless things because we all do. But I'm saying I want to remind myself of, you know what I mean, I'm talking too much about it, but I think it's important. That's all I'm saying. How about a disco ball? I don't know. Maybe something else down there. One of these lightning bolts. All right, I think that's good for now. We are gonna maybe come back and add a couple more things, but let's doctor up these boxes now and make them more fun. Um, I have here a Pigma Micron number 10. I also have a Muji 0.38. These, by the way, are all Tombos. And then this one's a mild liner, a zebra mild liner. So what are we going to do here? Um, I may need a Pigma Micron that's not so thick. How about a five? And what we can do is add some stuff to these boxes to make them a little more interesting and fun so that they're not so pale and pastel, right? Like stuff like that. We can also go inside, like we could do this. I have a reel on Instagram that recently went viral and it's draw like drawing boxes. It's from my February um, monthly, I'm gonna do this. My February monthly where I drew those boxes, I made it into a reel, I don't know if you saw that, but last I checked, it was almost at a million I've never had anything with that many views, so that was kind of cool. I think people really do appreciate the drawing boxes thing, so maybe I'll be drawing and doodling more things. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe. So we're just going to take some time here. What, if, what should we do with that one? Let's just do like this. I don't know. Let's do like one long line here and one long line here. So when you're doodling boxes, don't overthink it. Just sort of do your own thing. Do what makes you happy, so to speak. But just, I don't know. Like, you do you. And if you don't like it, it's okay. I had some people DMing me going, you know, I tried and it looked horrible. It just takes practice doing stuff like this and you're not always going to like everything you do. And, and again, that is okay. It's all a learning process. And that's really the fun of it. That's the fun of like creativity and trying new things is just learning as you go along what you like and what you don't like. Like it's okay. That's very bold compared to everything else. So we're going to have to do something here or down here that is also very bold, I guess. Um, so this one we can just do like around here, I guess. And then let's do a couple hearts on this one. I don't know why in the middle. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And then let's do on this one, we'll also do hearts maybe or stars. Let's do some stars on this one. That's kind of cool. Do I want to do like this? I don't know. That's fun. I like that one. We'll do one inside this one and one around the outside too. Hmm. 
What should we do with this one? How about, let's do this. You can always do like little stitching around your box, you know, on the inside or the outside. And I guess let's do something like this on this one so that one doesn't seem so in your face, you know? Okay, I feel like I need to do more to this box, something like um, another line coming down or something to make it a little more interesting. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Unless we go around the outside on this one as well. Maybe I'll do like something in each corner, like, um, let me see, <laughs> I don't know. All right, I think that's good for now. Now what we're gonna do is focus on what makes me happy. I'm gonna write that stuff in here. So here I'm gonna write traveling because it's kind of the longest word, I think. And I'm trying to think of the font I should use. I mean, I don't really care that much how it looks, but hmm. Let's do a serif font. So. Serifs are like the little lines that you'll see, but I'm just gonna wing it. If it doesn't fit, we'll white it out or do something else. Uh, that wouldn't look good on there though. Let me just take a pencil just to be sure. Okay. So what I mean by serifs, is these little doohickeys on the edges, you know? Ooh, that one shouldn't have gone all the way to the top, but like these guys, you know? I've never been good at that type of font though. Look at that, that does not look great. That G looks very bizarre. I don't love that, but we're gonna go with it. Maybe the rest will be okay. So traveling, well, I'll just talk about a little bit each one, right? So traveling is one of my favorite things to do because I get to experience new things and see new things and learn new things and be around new types of people. And I just love it. I don't know. I just feel a little more enriched every time I see a different part of the world, whether it is an hour for me or 15 hours for me. And I get to keep those memories. And I feel like every time I travel, it, it, enriches me just a little bit more and that adds to my happiness. So that's important to me. The next one is kind of going along with that, right? So it's learning. I love learning. It makes me feel like a more well-rounded person, any kind of learning, you know, but when I'm, when I'm traveling, I'm learning when I'm, it's always great. Like if I can learn something new, they say you learn something new every day, but if I learn something new in a day, I'm really excited about it. You know, I don't always remember the things I learned, but I get really excited to learn something I didn't know before. And I'm trying to think of an example. There was something I learned the other day on, I think it was Instagram or something. And I, I never, oh, oh, it was on TikTok. So I watched this TikTok on how dry cleaning works. And I never knew. I did not know what dry cleaning was or how it worked. And I thought that was really cool. And so it's always great to learn new things. I am taking a Spanish class at the end of March. I'm starting a Spanish class, which is really cool. So that is something I've always wanted to do is to learn how to speak Spanish. And so I am taking that step. So learning makes me happy in the short and the long term. So I'm going to write it. I guess I'll write it in this one. I'm gonna run out of room. This is way big and the rest of them, hmm, I don't know. I'm regretting this, I'm regretting it, but we're just gonna keep going. You live and you learn, right? I don't wanna put the serifs on it. Maybe I'll wipe those out. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep going with this font now. I'll figure this out. I don't know, it's just not appealing to me the way I did it. And I'll stop talking about it. Okay, the next one is helping. So again, things that feed my soul, like my internal self, right? So whenever I help someone with something or, or even just 
the fact that I'm helping you guys. This is a really rewarding career for me, and I didn't know when I started it that it would be so rewarding. Because when I started it, I just thought, oh, I'm going to show people how to put stickers in their planner, you know. But it became this thing, and I get DMs all the time and comments saying how I help you and how I brighten your day a little bit or you learned something from me or something like that. And it just, it, it makes my heart happy to know that because then I feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile and all the stress and everything else from this job, it makes it all worthwhile. If I didn't have that part of it, I don't know if I'd still be doing this because as much as it's really fun to be a full-time content creator, it is, um, and I hate saying this because I know I have this, this dream job for a lot of people. So I hate to, I don't ever want to complain about it because I really do love it. Um, but it, it's, it comes with, especially somebody with ADHD, and I've talked about this before, but it comes with a lot of um, overwhelm. And so the fact that I'm helping you is like, like the biggest reason that I'm still doing this job. Like it's my favorite part of the job. So helping is really important. And I'm going to start volunteering in some capacity this year. I don't know yet. I haven't looked into it yet, but I've always wanted to do that as well. I have volunteered in the past when my kids were little, like I was a Girl Scout leader, like I did all this stuff. But as like my kids got older, I sort of got out of that kind of stuff and I want to do that again. So yeah, volunteering and stuff like that. So that's all part of helping for me. So I'm going to write it. Um, I'll write it with this one because there's hearts. Okay. Next, this is not going to come as a surprise to you probably, but the next one is creating. So I didn't put planning. I didn't put stickers, you know, that kind of stuff I love, but I encompassed all of it into one word, which is creating because I love creating lots of stuff. I love that so much and it gets me out of my head. It's like meditation. It doesn't matter if I'm doing lettering, if I'm doing these videos, if I'm doing, um, you know, putting stickers down on my planner, if I'm drawing, all of that stuff is creativity for me. And so that's the other part of my job that I absolutely love so much is being able to express myself creatively. And that really makes me happy. And that's something I remember when I started this planner hobby back in 2018, uh, I got really into it really quickly. And I, I remember saying to my daughters, we were having this conversation and I remember saying to them, please don't ever let me live a year of my life without some sort of creativity, without being creative. Like if you see me in the future, not doing something creative, say, mom, what have you done lately? That's creative. Because I went through a lot of years after my divorce. Um, when I, I went and I got a full-time job in real estate and I would go to my job, I would come home, I would watch TV, text or whatever, and I go to bed. And I did that all the time. And that went on for years. And then I started thinking, it's been so many years since I've done any sort of art stuff or any crafts or any creative, creative stuff because I used to when my kids were little. So once I got excited about this, I was like, I have to do this. It is what feeds my soul. And so um, definitely important to put it on here. I guess I'll just do it here. Okay. Next one, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Why is it so weird? <laughs> How am I going to fit anything in there? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, maybe music can go here because that's the shortest word. I will put music here. And I'm trying to get back into listening to music because for so long, um, I didn't. Because it's hard for me to listen to now because between my son's death, my husband's death, and now my lost relationship, like those three things, there's a lot of music that reminds me of all of those things. And so decades I can't listen to. But I'm trying to reframe that and trying to get back into it because I love music so much and I got out of it. I need to get back to it because a music, a, a, a song can fully change my mood in an instant sometimes. I'm very susceptible to lyrics and, and a tune and, and a fast beat, you know. 
I just remember times in my life where I was feeling very down and I put on a song that was like a favorite song and I danced in my kitchen, you know, and, and it lifted my spirit so much. And I, I just want to get back to that. I almost didn't put this on here because I haven't been doing that, but I think I need to make time maybe on my walks, which I always listen to podcasts or audiobooks, but I need to do it because it makes me happy and I need to get past some of these blocks I have with it. The next one I'm going to write, where am I going to put this one? I guess I'll put it here and that's nature. It, it sort of is like the music thing because I could be in a bad mood and then I could take the dog for a walk or just go outside and sit on my patio or something and it lifts my mood. Um, not a thousand percent, but it, it, it gets me going. You know, it, it shifts my perspective. It gets me thinking about what I'm grateful for and all that stuff, Because especially if it's a sunny day. But so rainy day, no, hundred percent. I have like, I don't know if it's seasonal depression or if it's rainy day, no, but a sunny day there, it does something to my brain. I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's that I look around and I realize how beautiful the world is when it's sunny, right? Have you ever been outside in nature and it doesn't have to be in the woods or at the beach or anything like that, even though that's ideal, even if you're just outside walking down the street, even if there's just trees on the right and buildings on the, the left, do you ever just look around, especially if it's at like sunset or something like that and think how beautiful the world is, how beautiful nature is and the sun and trees and Sometimes it's just astounding to me how pretty everything is and how amazing it is and how like crazy it is that it even exists, all of this stuff, right? And so nature then gets me in my feels, just like the music. Um, and it, it, it really shifts something in me to think more about like maybe the big picture, to think, okay, why am I stuck thinking about this email that I got that was upsetting or you know, some, something that's due next week that I didn't start on yet. Like, why am I upset about that? When look at this world that we live in. So it makes me feel a little bit smaller, I guess, which then makes me feel bigger in a way. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's just how I feel. Okay. Um, I'm going to put family here because they're obviously like the most important thing. And I love spending time with my family. Like it just, it makes me so happy, especially if we can get everybody together in like the same place. It's so nice. And my daughter Heather is in Germany, so it's very rare that we can get everybody together in the same place. But there's nothing quite like family. And I don't even have to explain this to you. It is something that just um, I can't live without. And it is the most important thing in my life, um, especially my children. Just there's nothing like it. So family. And then I have two more. The first one is animals. And the reason animals are on this list is obviously I have animals, but also they're just so, they love you unconditionally. You know, they're so innocent and I don't know, there's something magical about animals and how you can't communicate with them verbally, but you can communicate them in other with them in other ways. And that's just really cool for me. I love seeing them have feelings and I don't know, you know, if you're an animal person, you know what I mean, but they obviously make me happy. That's why my channel is called Planning with Bumble. Okay, and the last one is reading because sometimes I get out of reading. Like I forget, not forget, but sometimes I get into like, binge watching a lot more shows or whatever. But then when I go back to reading again, it's like the same thing with the creating. I, I think to myself, why aren't I doing this more? Why aren't I reading more? Because that makes me so happy. And I love to, especially if things aren't going really great in my life, I love to kind of escape into a book. It takes me to another world. And when I was a little kid, that was what helped me when I was going through any kind of hard time was I would escape into these this world of another person and their problems, you know? And, and if you think about it that way, maybe it's not so healthy, but it takes you to a different place and 
helps you to get out of your head a little bit and I also find it super interesting and and that's how I you know grew my vocabulary over my life and it's always been magical ever since I was you know probably picked up a toddler book and it's always been literally something very very special to me and one of my favorite things to do so I get mad at myself when I get out of it and then when I get back in I'm like what was I doing why aren't I reading more <laughs> so um, this year I am reading more I have a reading tracker if you didn't see that but okay we're gonna have to work on this but first I want to put something at the top of the page what are we gonna write okay I'm just gonna write what makes me truly happy because then I'll know these are the deep down things right so let's see what makes me all right I guess I'm just gonna wing it and hope that I center it good oh I centered it pretty good didn't I so happy maybe I'll do it in letter stickers should I let me look at what letter stickers I have whoa okay I have the playful type sticker book here this is um one that came out in the fall and it's I think it came out in the fall maybe it was a winter release I forget anyway it is letters and so I thought I'd use letters to do that I'm gonna make it more interesting than just writing at the top you know and I was looking at where are they these ones I think those are fun don't you think they're like metallic pink I don't know let's try it and what I'm gonna do is a little trick I learned from my friend Marielle at mom and a girl with plans and that is to take a ruler and center um, the letters with the ruler. So we're just going to put it on the edge anywhere to start and we'll take each letter and space them out how you want. I'm going to space these out a little bit bigger than, uh, not bigger, a little bit more spaced out than normal to make it interesting. Okay, the Y I'm going to have to put on at the end I guess, but we'll just stick it like that. Okay, so now what you do is you just have it here and you can move it around like I don't want it there I don't want it like you want it in the middle so it's easy to do that you know to figure out exactly where you want to put it I'm going to take the Y off though because I don't want that on there yet because like it's lower than the rest so and then you just like hold it down whoops and pull off the ruler okay things that make me happy I mean what makes me truly happy what makes me truly happy is fixing this monstrosity of the lettering here, but I think I'll do that off camera so that I can really get my face in there and take those off. I don't know. That's it, I guess. I mean, I could put like little more stickers here, which I might actually. But let's just take a look. I'm sorry. Let's just take one more look at this sticker book because we can fill those little spaces with more stickers, right? Certainly not necessary, but I think it's sort of fun, don't you? Oh, hello. Here's your friend and mine. Say hello, Bumble. She has her bark collar on. See it? It's like not an actual bark collar. It does not shock. It just um, beeps and then buzzes, like like vibrates. So it doesn't hurt her at all, but she doesn't like it. I'm trying to break her of barking. She was broken of it, and then it came back when we moved to the apartment. So, so yeah, but hello, everyone. Hello, my fans. Which one's your favorite out of this one, Bumble? Let's see. Which one does she like the best? Mm, she likes nature the best. Her second favorite is family. And, and then that's about it for Bumble. Maybe traveling. <laughs> she doesn't really like animals that much. <laughs> she likes barking at him though. All right, that's enough for me. This is kind of a long video, at least for me. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas from this list. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, um, I would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. That means the world to me. It makes me happy and we're on our way to 100,000. So thanks to everyone who has stuck around with me through all of these years. Um, I appreciate you so much. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.